Hello guys and welcome back. So today I have something really cool to share with all of you. Just got this in the mail. I purchased it, of course, off of eBay. And these are um, cocoons of the Cecropia moth, one of the largest in North America. And I just can't wait to see what's what they're gonna look like. I've never really owned uh, any kind of moth that just uh, from a cocoon before, so we'll see how they how they came. Let's, so here's the box. Just standard, standard size, so let's go ahead and open it. I hope they're okay. Now something interesting about the moth is that they kind of like to start making their cocoons in the fall time, and you can actually keep them in the fridge until, um, like, a little, you can keep them cool, and then they'll start to basically emerge when it gets warmer in about three to four weeks, so pro approximately about a month. So this is Cropia. Let's see what they look like. Very nice. Let's see a receipt or care sheet. All right, it's a care sheet. Awesome. So caring for the cocoons. So the cocoons, August 2016, refrigerated since fall. Nutrients leaving out. Perfect. Okay, cool. And it just it tells you where to place them. Very cool. All right, now. Let's see what they look like. I'm trying to be very gentle. Just gonna rip this. Oh, we got a stick in there. Oh, I got a piece of tape there. Okay. Oh, well, there we have one. That is really cool. And I can feel it in there. I can feel the moth. You can hear it kind of rattling. You don't want to shake it too much. That is really neat. Let's take out the other two. There's that one. Very nice. And there's the last one. Wow. You can definitely tell the differences in cocoons. Oh, whoops. You can definitely tell the difference in cocoons. This one is much bigger and more shinier than the others. So I'm thinking maybe it's possible to tell the sex depending on the cocoons, but I'm pretty sure that's not right. However, maybe we can also determine if this one spun a better cocoon, maybe because it was uh, fed better. Uh, you know, depending on, on diet and uh, how it was taken care of. But, however, we can definitely see that there are three moth cocoons here, and I cannot wait to see what's going to happen, so I'm going to do as the direction says. I'll place them in a in a warmer environment, and then it should take about three weeks for them to, to emerge, so I can't wait for that. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and um, I will answer them as soon as possible. So thanks, guys. Please make sure to subscribe and check out my Facebook channel. I will be back.